Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Volume 2, Episode 1 of the Back Row Podcast. We are back! Yes! All right, starting off, we have some fallen pod members who have gone off to college and one has abandoned us. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Gone. Rest in peace, Pringle. He's, He's not actually dead. No, yeah, he just left the staff. So we're stuck with three uh, veteran pod members. That's that's about it. Sad. As you all know, I'm Jack Titzer. Yeah, Logan Connor here and White Flowers. And today we have a special guest, Alex Kramer. You want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Hey, guys. I'm Alex Kramer. I'm a sophomore this year. I play football with Jack, and I play a little league with Logan. Oh, <laughs> heck yeah. yeah. I like how you wave like there was a little or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, you kind of did. They, they wish they were here with me. Uh, I respect that. That's funny. All right, so we're going to talk a little bit about, like, how the podcast is going to be this year. We It's only us three now. We used to have, like, six, I think, or well, seven. Yeah, uh, six or seven. Seven. Yeah, so seven. now it's only three of us, and we're going to try and get special guests every week, just people we think are funny or someone who, like, concerns the topic that we're talking about that week. For the topics this week, we're kind of just winging it right now. The first episode, yeah. winging it a little bit. We want to talk a little bit about like how the podcast would be. So that's how the podcast will be. We have special guest Alex Kramer, obviously in the building. <laughs> so first topic, let's talk about some Andrew Tate. All right, <laughs> this is this is exactly where I want getting to go controversial with this. fast. So it's over the the course of the past couple of days where I've seen stuff about him getting banned. Um, I don't know how I feel about it because I know people have different perspectives on him, but also I feel like people also only look at the, the bad in people all the time yeah. and not the good things that they do. So that's actually interesting to me because earlier uh, earlier today, I guess you guys saw us TikTok about a, a, a woman that came out uh, in an interview who had dated Tate and been, on, been to his house, and she said just how nice he was the whole time, how respectful he was, and like he didn't try to come on to her in any way. Like people are saying he's a rapist or whatever. I mean... He may have, he may have done things in his past. I mean, everybody's made mistakes, and I mean, some mistakes bigger than other mistakes. But I, what she said was when it, when she was ready to leave his his home and go go to back to her house, uh, he wasn't very he wasn't disrespectful with her at all. He uh, he ordered her an Uber, like a Uber X. And said to, like take care Did of my wife. That? Yeah, he said. And then this, they weren't even like married or anything, and he told the Uber to take care of his wife, and if not, then he would have to deal with him. Yeah. And the woman said that she enjoyed that a lot and made her feel safe. It was also, I mean, if you don't understand what's going on with it, um, basically he's getting banned off of all social media because he's like misogynistic and claims like, claims that claims that he's misog- misogynistic and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Basically, if you don't know who Andrew Tate is, Andrew Tate is a <laughs> Was a kickboxer. That's how he gained fame. I think he's a four-time world champion kickboxer. Yeah. yeah, and then he, after his kickboxing career was over, he kind of he kind of retired from that because he was getting older, and he turned to philanthropy because his family has lots of wealth. Uh, they have a lot of money, so he turned for philanthropy and used his wealth to go across the world, spreading word to others and spreading his opinions and uh, talking about men's mental health mm-hmm. and protecting women from sexual assault. And he just actually started a foundation. I don't know if you guys saw that. It was Tate Foundation. The Tate Foundation to protect that. women from sexual assault and to raise awareness to men's mental health because he's being kicked off everything. He, he said that if he can't, if he can't uh, have a voice through social media, he'll have it through helping others, yeah. which I thought was really nice. I don't really know much about Andrew Tate before like I saw the posts. But everything I like would see on him, like on TikTok and like Instagram and stuff like that, he'd be pretty positive. Like he'd always be like, just everyone can be the better version of themselves. He's just trying to teach boys how to become men again. Yeah, I don't yeah, really I know. I think is what's going on with that. I feel like some people took it way too far, like with like the top G stuff and like. Yeah, I think that was just him trying to get the the views to get mm-hmm. the spe- like the actual positive messages out, so people mm-hmm. were actually paying attention to him. That's what I think it was kind of part of, just like his plan, I guess. I think the way people took it was definitely the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. I think he was trying to spread a positive message, and people looked at the underlying reason of what he was saying and thought he was doing the, the wrong reason and was just trying to gain fame. When in reality, he was just trying to be helpful and spread awareness for mental health. And with that foundation now, it's definitely going to 
be able to do that even without social media. Yeah, and he, uh, he mentioned something about how he has wealth that every man would want, and so why would he need more of it? And he's doing this for an actual good cause. And people will start to realize that is what he said. But, yeah. yeah. Some women, I'm not, I'm not really sure how where it's going, but some women like get like mad. Like a girl said to me that she blocked me because she saw I followed him on Instagram. And I was like, oh, okay. So just kind of like what my opinion is. They just don't like him. I mean, yeah. I understand that in, in a way. Um, times change. Yeah. Uh, and maybe they just, I mean, some people just don't want to go back. My personal opinion on the matter is women support very strong feminists who bash men, like say men are bad and all this kind of stuff. Say all men are bad and all that kind of stuff. Which and is women, not a terrible, I mean, like yeah. that, that's, that's, that's their opinion. Yeah. I mean, it's their opinion, but like women will like, will support that and like repost on their Instagram stories. But when there's finally a guy like that who wants to encourage men's mental health and like tell men to be the best man they can be. And then it's when, wrong. It's wrong. And women bash that yeah. and get them blocked on social media. It's a go off of what you just said. I saw something on someone, on someone's, uh, Snapchat story who is known to support, I, I guess I can't really say that right side, like liberal stick ideas. She posted a TikTok. It says they banned Andrew Tate because of allegations, but not Sienna May, who was a TikTok person mm-hmm. who sexually assaulted a man, Cardi B, who has admitted to rape, and James Charles, who's been proven to be speaking to underage kids, yeah. to make it make sense. And then she captioned it with, I agree with this because they all need to be put away and banned from the internet as well. I agree. I think going off what Jack said, with uh, women always being mad, I think everyone will have their own, stick to their own ideas. And even if someone else's idea comes along, it's a good point. They just won't even listen. Yeah. And then yeah. that, they're like, oh, well, these people are my, like, my, believe in my beliefs. Why would I, why would I say that they should be arrested? Yeah. And they think that they're in the right. Just I mean, yeah. And it's not like people can't have their own opinions. I mean, of, of course, everybody can, but it just doesn't mean that it's right. And it doesn't mean that the other person's right either. I think it's, I think it's ever interesting everything that's going on. Yeah. There's no real, like, answer to it, really. I mean, uh, maybe it's just a whole bunch of, like, government stuff. And he said that all the social medias were, like, talking to each other about these things like they talk to each other about banning people and like getting them off the internet well he got banned from facebook and instagram who's both owned by zuckerberg meta yeah by meta yeah well i don't know what the deal with andrew tate but something i want to bring up a uh, topic i want to bring up is all the new administration around the school. oh that's a good topic. yeah Our, uh, okay new principal mr gasaway yeah great guy i, I, like, that. I like him he's awesome he's I- I like him, but it's, no one can live up to Mr. Todd Garrison. <laughs> Todd Garrison. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I'm a big fan of Mr. Garrison. Uh, seeing him every morning when we walk into school. There's just fist bumps, all, man. Fist bumping all the students. I think that's just, like, a really nice way to, like, start the day. I agree. Like, walking into school and, like, your principal is, like, excited to see. Like, he's glad you're here. Mm-hmm. That's a good thing. That's, like, a, a positive thing in the mind of all students yeah. knowing that their principal, like, wants yeah, to Yeah, like, no, and he genuinely seems like he wants to be here. That's too. what I was like, about to say. Yeah, it's not like that he has to be here because it's his job. It seems like he really enjoys being here. And I've also mm-hmm. seen him, like, take students' trays, like, when they're done at lunch and, like, throw them away for him. I mean, he's a genuinely nice guy. And I, I, I'm here for it. In his opening, like, his like his uh, greeting speech or whatever on, like, that third or fourth day of school mm-hmm. when he was talking about how, like, he could, he he sees us as, like, all, all his children mm-hmm. all with the same last name. I thought that really, like, hit home, especially with, like, the times we've been having with like yeah. people disagreeing and all mm-hmm. the the racism that's been happening and him saying i don't care what color you are what language you speak what religion you are you're all my own kids and yeah. you'll be treated that way i thought that just that really may, means a lot like to me and i definitely like other people mm-hmm. in the minorities he's a stand-up guy yeah. he's, he's just naturally selfless yeah <laughs> yeah he's a selfless guy. <laughs> he really he's I'm, all in i'm actually he surprised he wanted to come here so bad considering we 60 piece their football team <laughs> back, back in the day his yeah. old school well <laughs> <laughs> it's a 60 piece the football team and I, I personally had an experience with him i interviewed him for my first story for the newspaper and just like the how how willing he was to talk and work around like my schedule and his schedule to get the interview in like was really important yeah for me for, as a writer i had to interview him too for my or brady did for his our story and uh he gave like a uh, two paragraphs per question yeah just like going on and on about they, how happy he was he really yeah. supports this program Oh yeah. School, yeah. yeah, he. Uh, I think he told Robs. He's a big journalism guy. Yeah, he, yeah, that's that. He's a big journalism guy, and Madison didn't really have like the journalism program 
that like, could support his like journalism wants. Hey, nobody and, has a program like us. Sure, number one in the state. Green Two years in a row. Baby. Two years in a row. <laughs> the best. And then uh, a familiar face stepping into the athletic director. Position. <laughs> Mr. Mike Campbell. Mr. Mike Mr. Campbell. Campbell. <laughs> Great guy. It's, I've always been a fan of. Oh, I, oh, I a, love him. That's I a, love some him. big shoes yeah. of seven too. Is an athletic yeah. director. He's like Mr. Campbell's like a second dad to me. He's always, I'm obviously a close friend with his son, and I'm around him a lot. And he's just such a he's such a nice guy. He loves Greenwood, yeah. and it's sad. Yeah. It's after 17 years of being the head football coach, he's stepping down, which is it's sad because I'm just glad he's finishing with my senior season. Like I feel bad for you, saying you're a sophomore. So I don't uh, know who, yeah, I don't, so we don't know what that means for you, man. I don't, I don't know who the coach is going to be, but he's he's done after this. So it's just successful but, career. Yeah, but it's just. New things, good things for their family, good new job. It's. And I think he he had he definitely had some big shoes to fill with Irwin. Or I thought I think Irwin was a great athlete. Yeah, I thought he was too. I, he, I really he, he really like when he came in here. I mean, we were still a good athletic program, but when he came in, I feel like our athletics really stepped up a level. And when he when he left, I know a lot of people were like questioning like what's going to happen next. Mm-hmm. Like, are we going to be in good hands or not? I know like specifically with baseball. There were lots of things that were being told to us that we were going to be receiving. And when he left, a lot of us were wondering, are we still going to be getting these things? Oh, yeah. And I remember with, going to the with field. Campbell, with Campbell uh, kids stepping in, like, it, it's really reassuring to know that, especially with him being an assistant director last year, that mm-hmm. these things are still going to be coming our way. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have any other, like, new, like, actual administration? Or is that the only two? I think that's it. There's more teachers, but there's a yeah. lot of new teachers this year, yeah. I don't really know if we can talk about him. I don't, I don't have any of them. I don't think I have any new teachers. I mean, I uh, um, that Paul guy next door, Rocky. 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 He's a basketball coach. Yeah, yeah. Freshman basketball coach. I was about to say that room has not been a classroom. Yeah, it was the IMC lab. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen the new IMC lab? It's no. pretty sweet. It's nice. Nice. It looks it's really, really, good. really nice. Oh, really? It's yeah. like, like it looks futuristic in there. I walked. I've I also walked by, but I've never like been inside it. Yeah. And uh, let's talk about sports a little bit. I guess we got. Boys tennis also hot stars. Yeah. yeah. Like five and two, <laughs> six and two right now. Noah Passwater is Dog. crazy. Passwater is he undefeated? I Dog. think so. I think he's undefeated. Really? There's been cow- I heard there's been college scouts there for him. Good Dog. for him. Good. He's, he's, a, he's a solid tennis player. Good for him. Uh, girls golf, they just – they were just at county yesterday. I'm not sure how they did, but I'm sure they did well. Our golf our golf program has always been pretty decent. I'm a beggar's a beast. I'm a beggar's pretty good. Um, I'm I'm – I'm, the it's new, probably bad. I don't really know any of the other girls golfers. The new, so Celia I, Stanley, she's a sophomore. She's so good. I know the okay. uh, the new principal's daughter, uh, Gracie Gasway. She's a pretty good golfer. Right? Really? Yeah. Okay. And then girls uh, volleyball is doing all right. Volleyball is doing. They're back to five hundred. They won like four in a row. Uh huh. Yeah. Start, That's started really kinda, good. Started off kind of slow, but I heard that they've been on, on a streak recently. Mm-hmm. I believe they swept Wyland. Don't quote me on that. No, they did. That's I think yeah, they, they swept Wyland. Uh, freshman JV and varsity. Mm-hmm. And football off to a, a hot start. How about guys, that football? You guys got a big win against Seymour, thirty-five yeah, to seven dub. That was a great <laughs> game, great environment. It was it was pretty hype. I was I was optimistic going in because we had never played Seymour before, and their film didn't look bad, and they were a bigger school than us. They're five A, we're four A. We never played them before, and like we only had their scrimmage film, and in the scrimmage, no one's gonna show what they're actually gonna yeah. do. So we really had no clue, but. We were fortunate enough. I'm not saying we're fortunate because this kid was hurt, but their best player had a broken leg, and he didn't play. So I mean, it obviously helps. It, it helps, but not. I mean, it's a bad thing for him, but like still, it help, if it helps your team, I mean, still a good win for us. <laughs> hey. And then Kramer, you got your you got your first varsity star. How did that feel? Oh, it was awesome. I was definitely a little nervous going into the game, but <laughs> I mean, we played football for 10, 10 years almost, and I just felt like all the pieces coming together. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, we we look good. I'm I'm, ex- I'm excited to see what we can do tomorrow against Indian Creek. Good. Yeah, they did. Well, by the time this is out, it'll be tonight. Tonight, tonight against Indian Creek. Tonight at the woodshed, seven o'clock. <laughs> USA theme. USA theme. Big game. Pull up. Start off the season two and zero. One more token. What other, what other sports are starting right now? We got. Girls soccer, boy soccer. Yeah, soccer. I'm uh, pretty sure the girls' team is doing pretty well. Yeah, they they know they're always having their yeah. their new coach, uh, Coach Applebaum. Mm-hmm. Great guy. Great guy, better. He make better coach. Yeah. And then uh, boys soccer, they had a new coach last year. It's his second season. Coach Priscu, I think, is his name. Uh huh. He's awesome guy. He was every single summer workout. Yeah, he, he was, was there. there always. Yeah. I thought I always thought he was like a teenager. 
Really? He was young. No, yeah, like, he, got he young. was really young. The first Friday conditioning, he was talking to Watson, and I was like, "Why is this guy like? Why is this kid just over here talking to Watson while we're like warming up?" Yeah, and he's shredded too. He's a he's a shredded really? guy. Yeah, he is jacked. <laughs> Young coach, great guy. Our pro, our athletic program is in great hands right now. Good. Uh, I do know girls soccer. They're doing pretty good, but they took a heavy loss. Josie Osha, I'm pretty sure tore like MCL uh, in the game. So big piece of she's a source the freshman. Yeah. So. That's crazy. Uh, what else is there? We're a little short. Uh, short in time. Nah. What else are we talking about? Honestly, um. We might need to edit this part out right now. Yeah. Yeah, we can edit this part out. Like from like from like three seconds ago to whenever we come up with something new. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have five minutes left in the period and we're at fifteen and a half minutes. So we uh, just just end it here. Yeah. Three, two, one. And I think that's gonna wrap it up today on the Back Row Podcast. Again, we are back for our second edition, our second season. season, season two. <laughs> and we're gonna try to have special guests every week. This week was Alex Kramer. Stand-up guy, funny guy. <laughs> Big stand-up guy. <laughs> uh, so this is us signing off. I'm Jack Titzer. Young guy. Why flowers? I'm Alex Chamber. See ya. <laughs>